muscles of infratemporal fossa. So, what are the muscles of infratemporal fossa? Anyway, the muscles of infratemporal fossa are coming around the temporomandibular joint. We will be talking about the temporomandibular joint in some other sessions. So, the temporomandibular joint is coming here. So, you need muscles to control the temporomandibular joint. So, these muscles are arranged in the infratemporal fossa. So, actually these are the muscles which help in mastication. So, temporomandibular joint controlling muscles which are the muscles of temporomandibular joint there are mainly four muscles which are the important masticatory muscles they are the medial pterygoid, lateral pterygoid, masseter and temporalis. But when we talk about infratemporal fossa, all the four are not coming and sitting inside the infratemporal fossa. One is lying outside. Do you remember when we approach the infratemporal fossa, we have already mentioned that we are just cutting off the zygomatic arch and reflecting the masseter. So, masseter is in no way coming inside the fossa. So, we will omit masseter from the four main muscles. So, which are the remaining three muscles? We have temporalis, then the next one is medial pterygoid and the third one is lateral pterygoid. So, these are the main muscles coming in the infratemporal fossa. So, let us see one by one just roughly what a, where does, how does the temporalis muscle comes in the infratemporal fossa, how does the medial pterygoid comes here, how does the lateral pterygoid comes here. The details of the muscles we will be discussing under the heading the muscles of mastication or the movements of temporomandibular joint. But for this time we will be just commenting where the temporalis muscle is and how it comes here. So, temporalis muscle actually is seen feeling the depression of the temporal fossa. We have already mentioned where the temporal fossa lies. It is just above the zygomatic arch. So, what happens to the temporalis muscle? It just comes under the zygomatic arch and it forms a tendon and it is getting inserted onto the mantiple. Where exactly do you remember the process? This is called the coronoid process. So, the tendon will come under the zygomatic arch and will get inserted onto the coronoid process. That is called temporalis muscle. So, that is anyway seen in the infratemporal fossa. So, the first muscle is temporalis. Then we have medial pterygoid and lateral pterygoid. Do you know how these muscles are named medial and lateral? They are named medial and lateral depending upon the origin from the lateral pterygoid plate. We have already mentioned that the lateral pterygoid plate is forming the medial wall, medial wall of infratemporal fossa. So, the muscle arising from the lateral surface of lateral pterygoid plate, you call it as lateral pterygoid muscle. And the muscle arising from the medial surface of lateral pterygoid plate, you call it as medial pterygoid muscle. So, these are the two muscles, lateral pterygoid muscle and medial pterygoid muscle. So, they are named according to its origin from the lateral pterygoid plate. If it is arising from the lateral surface, you call it as lateral pterygoid muscle and if it is arising from the medial surface, you call it as medial pterygoid muscle. So, we can see that all these three muscles, the temporalis muscle, the medial pterygoid muscle, the lateral pterygoid muscle, all these are filling the infratemporal fossa. So, these are the muscles which are filling the infratemporal fossa.